A new poll shows Donald Trump nine points ahead of Joe Biden in the 2024 rematch, 51 to 42. Let's uh, jump to the numbers and see what they have to say. Help make sense of this poll and dive into the numbers. And Rick, the economy is clearly at the top of voters' minds. Yeah, Martha, these numbers are simply staggering for the sitting president. 44% of people in this poll say they are not as well off as they were at the start of the Biden administration two and a half years ago. Those are the worst numbers that we've seen in our ABC News Washington Post polling. It's a question we've been asking going back to the Reagan administration. And when you, when you dive into the big questions around the economy, we know President Biden has been out there trying to make the case unemployment is low. Uh, he's been talking about how inflation has been easing, but people aren't buying it. You covered some of the reasons why. Gas prices, uh, food prices, grocery prices and the like. Right now, on the big picture on the economy, 74% of the country... Yeah, I don't know why they're trying to spin this economy like it's doing so well. Yeah, a lot of people have jobs, people are working, but gas prices are crazy. Oil prices, your energy prices are out of control. Mortgage rates are high. Um, groceries are insane. Uh, so you can't really spin this and say things are getting better because people don't feel it. Country. It's about three quarters of Americans who say the economy is either not so good or downright poor. And it's not just the state of the nation or the policies that are giving people pause on President Biden. It seems to be the man himself. Yeah, Martha, let's talk about age because we know for sure that the country certain. That's just stupid. Oh, it's not the policies, it's the man. No, it is the policies and the man. Certainly is. Uh, President Biden would be 82 years old on Inauguration Day 2025. That's how old he is. He's not getting any younger. And of course, perceptions around his ability to perform in the job are not getting any better. Right now, three quarters of Americans, 74 percent, say that he is too old to effectively serve in a second term. Uh, that compares to about 50 percent who say the same around Donald Trump. And it's not just Republicans or independents who are skeptical over Joe Biden. Uh, this is a question we asked. Should Biden be at the top of the ticket? 62 percent of Democrats and Democrat-leaning independents said they think that someone else should be the presidential nominee, although uh, the party is deeply split on who that someone else should be. Now, if you're looking for a potential good sign, a positive sign for Democrats in this poll, opposition to the Supreme Court's decision on Roe versus Wade overturning abortion rights at the national level remains very, very strong. 64% opposition. Of course, it was... See, this is all they have, uh, the abortion thing. Republicans are going to take your rights away. They're going to they come after your uterus. This is all they have. Sadly, um, Donald Trump's three su Supreme that. Court justices who authored that opinion and made it possible. And of course, abortion played a big role in last year's midterms. But most of these numbers paint a bleak picture for President Biden's reelection chances, Rick. Yeah, and Martha, maybe the most startling number in our poll is this, the, the hypothetical matchup, a rematch of Donald Trump versus Joe Biden. Our poll with the, with the Washington Post pegging this at 51% to, uh, for, for Donald Trump over Joe Biden. That is a nine-point edge. Now, that's only a couple of points difference from our last poll in May, but it is significantly different than most recent polls. It is an outlier compared to other polls we've seen recently. Our partners at 538 put together an analysis for us they find an average of recent polls having this more in the one or two point range uh, with Joe Biden typically having the edge. But whether you believe that or not, uh, look, there's a good chance that there's people just trying to send a message in the polling right now, given the other frustration we've seen. We know in this poll there's some uh, some quirks, some oddities around the number of black voters and Hispanic voters, the, the younger voters who seem to be supporting Donald Trump. And get this, because it's pretty hard to believe, but we ask people whether Donald Trump should be constitutionally uh, disqualified from running for office. And among people who said yes, one in five, about 18 percent, say they'd vote for Trump anyway. So that might just be a, a sending a message that's more anti-Biden than it is pro-Trump. But regardless... It's actually the fact that these people would much rather see uh, somebody who got the job done. This is why I look at it. People, they compare the two. They see the, the disaster Joe Biden's been. They see that uh, what Donald Trump did in four years with the economy, it will happen with their pocketbooks, the stock market and all that. Um, and the border was secure, much more secure than it is now. And they see the two. It's like, okay, I'm going with Trump. The weaknesses that we are seeing for Joe Biden and his approval rating across the board are very real. They are alarming to Democrats, even if no one thinks this is ultimately going to be a nine-point race. And yeah, it's very unlikely. It'll, I mean, it'll be a nine-point blowout. Uh, 
for Donald Trump in the election um, because you do have a lot of you have a lot of swing states out there. You have a, a lot of people who are just going to vote blue no matter who. Sadly, um, but a, a poll, even if it's if it's an outlier poll and everything else is showing a much closer race, it's very telling with the state of uh, the country right now, with the way people are feeling. So if you go to um, RCP, in their polling aggregate, uh, 538 has Biden ahead of one or two points, and RCP has Trump ahead by one point. And this is very telling because 2020, Trump led in almost, I don't think he led in a single poll. He was always down by nine or ten points. And obviously he didn't lose by ten points. Um, lose quotes. Anyway, we'll get to that another day. But nine points here on this latest poll. NBC has it a, a tie. Emerson has it a tie. Yahoo News has it a tie. Morning Consultant has it a tie. CBS, Trump up by one. Trump up by four. And Harvard Harris, Rasmussen, Biden up one. So this is a close race if you go based on the polling. And let's say there is a rematch, but I think it will be a rematch. Um, I think we're going to see the polls favoring Donald Trump as we get closer. And anything can happen in the election. Bearing any, you know, mass melon ballots or anything like that. Uh, you know, we'll, you know, rule changes, illegal rule changes. In a straight up head to head uh, matchup, this is not good for Joe Biden. You know, he has to have all these other things going in his, in his favor <laughs> to help him win, just, you know, as we saw in the past. But um, this is uh, this is good news for 2024. Now, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, it's, it's going to take a lot of work. We're going to have to get every single person out there to vote. We're going to need 85 million people to vote Republican in this next election. 90 million, 100 million. We're going to have to get a record amount of votes. Votes. We're going to need much more than 74 million votes to win. Likely. I'm just guessing. Because it's going to be a, uh, a very wild election season, in my opinion. But I just want to update you guys on this polling. Uh, what we're seeing right now in the 2024 race. And I do think Biden will be the nominee. I don't think. I just, I've never felt like they're going to get rid of him. Um, he's implementing their agenda. Yes, he has uh, the border going against him. The economy is not doing well. We, we, when you factor in inflation, all that stuff, interest rates, uh, the, we'll take a look at foreign policy. He's very ineffective on that, and Trump was very effective on foreign policy. Um, I still don't think they're going to replace Biden. I think he will be the guy in the end. It is going to be a rematch, in my opinion. I know people are thinking, oh, Gavin Newsom is going to step in, Michelle Obama. I just don't I just don't see it happening. That's just my opinion. Um, but all right, guys, I'm going to leave it right there. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Take care.